Welcome to Van, Van Life, Life and, and Beyond. Beyond. Today, we are going to be talking about five things nobody told you about being a nomad. In today's video, we're going to talk about five things about nomad living that no one told us about. And it'll hopefully make your life a little easier in the decision making of becoming a nomad. Better watch it to the end because it's if not, bloopers, man, you'll have five years of bad luck. <laughs> Maybe. Or if you watch it, you'll have 10 years of good luck. So let's get started with the five topics so you can start learning. Okay, guys. It's one of those days. Just to kind of tell you what goes on in van life. Now think of this for a minute. Van life is always interesting. You never have a day when something else is not happening to you. <clears throat> So, the day started out fine, driving the van, I got some gas at a local gas station, I'm not going to mention names so I don't want anybody harping on any particular gas station, and by golly, you know, it starts missing, sputtering, things like that, I'm going like, oh my gosh, what's going on? Well, so what's really happening here? is that I'm dead alongside the road. So I've called for help. One of the things you just saw was a skit with Evelyn fixing the plastic bag on the radiator cap. Now, yes, I did put a bag there because I was leaking fluid. Now, sometimes on the road, you have to do those kind of things. And I just want you to know that you've got to be able to figure things out on the highway. You're stuck there until somebody can come get you, fetch you, pull you back out. You got to find a place to live. You got to find a place to shower, go to the bathroom. All those things have just been removed from you. So a little extra planning that you got to do. I wanted to um, talk to you a little bit about repairing the vehicle, maintenance. Now, <clears throat> there's a lot of things that people don't even recognize when you are going to become a nomad uh, that typically most of the time you're going to be out and away from everything that's going on around you. Uh, you may encounter by being a nomad and living in your own van or RV or pulling a trailer that your home has to go to service, has to be worked on someplace either that or you're going to be working on it. You've got to be able to figure things out on your feet and I want you to be able to know that and work on it. So it's a good idea to stay on top of things. Okay. Just something for you to think about. I'm going to start off with a workout and a shower. Aww. I want to discuss some things with you about taking a shower. All right. Now, guess what? When you become a nomad, you start traveling around. You've got an RV, class A, B, C, um, maybe a van build or something like that. 
you're always depending on take a shower um, if you watch some of those van lifers out there you'll find out that those guys may wait two or three days or a week or longer to take a shower it's just not acceptable with me so my first plan was to um, and I believe you just saw the video on it was to go to Planet Fitness since everywhere I traveled Planet Fitness was available for me to go to and uh, so great it worked the first couple of times and then uh, <coughs> COVID, uh, happened and so <laughs> there that sign was closed all right so where do you go then so then sometimes I stop in the um, campgrounds plug in charge up my batteries fully without having to use any any other method <coughs> running my engine um, and so then I can utilize their showers okay truck stops are pretty good other things like that but you there's a lot to this being a nomad and being out in the wild there's some other things that people just don't tell you about that you're going to figure out for yourself somehow and uh just connect up with people somebody's going to give you uh, some key points on what you can do and sometimes folks will give you some junk showering is a big one going to the bathroom i believe evelyn's already got that video on there on uh where i go Good morning everybody. It's an early morning here off the lake. I thought you could enjoy some of the scenery with me while I talk to you about one of life's essentials. Now we just did that funny little skit with Charles sitting out on the nice little dock on the lake on our little Coleman portable toilet. And no, he wasn't really doing anything but we thought it would be cute to, to put the image in your mind. I guess if we were in the middle of nowhere with nobody around, that would be a possibility. But using the bathroom as a nomad is kind of the same as anything else. If you're just traveling in your car and you're on the interstate and you're trying to find a bathroom and you last sign you saw was next rest area 126 miles away, you're going like, oh, <laughs> what do we do? So um it is a concern it's something that we have to do and uh, no matter what vehicle you have being a nomad you have to think about it even the large rvs that have the full bathrooms with their own little tanks to carry all the the waste around you still have to find a place to dump it the same goes with all the way down to the little composting or coleman portable toilets the camping toilets you still have to find a place to dispose of what's inside there it's the dirty little things nobody likes to talk about that's the reason why we're trying to bring you this video it's the little things not that it's a big deal but it's something that people don't really like to talk about <laughs> so i hope we help you helped you uh trigger a little thinking process there so let's carry on with the other items that we chose to talk about. One of the things that is always missed um, is how much you're going to minimize to get into something like this or into an RV, camper, anything, whatever it is you're going down to. You remember when we were minimizing? from a 2,000 square foot house and garage and fenced in yard. I remember The yard vividly. sales, donations. <laughs> I recall some very tragic things in my life, stuff that I've had <clears throat> that I wanted to keep with me. And when we talk about downsizing, we're, you're trying to figure out what you're gonna take with you. Well, I've always been a mechanic for a long time. I've turned tool, turned wrenches and stuff for most of my life. <clears throat> and I come to find out that she's out there taking my stuff out and put it in the yard sale. And I'd be out there going like, but wait, 
So I recall many times of picking things up when she would walk away to go get something else and take it back into my shop. I mean, that's one of the things. Minimizing your lifestyle is something that if you're ready to do this, you've got to start now and you've got to put things away. Even if you don't get rid of it right now, just bag it up, stick it in an attic, a closet someplace, and see how long it is that you've got to go dig something out of that bag to use. Mm -hmm. And that would be like a first step to get ready. And I'd recommend not running off and trying to do this all at one time because it's a serious shock to the body <clears throat> To go in and go like, well, I need a so-and-so and, and you don't have it no more. Okay, we've so far we've covered four of the five things that nobody talks about with nomadic lifestyle. Let's talk about the fifth one. It's a good one. I think what made me addicted to the nomadic lifestyle and made me not want to go back to a permanent brick and mortar home is opening up my doors in the morning i still feel like i'm home but then when i open up the doors to come out of my vehicle in the morning it's like wow different scenery different places new explorations new adventures for the day even if i have to work working in a different city you know it's 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 awesome hey don't forget to like subscribe comment tell us what kind of uh information you'd like to know not only that, but we like traveling. So in that comment, talk about what else you would like to see as we travel around the country. Yeah, we can go anywhere. It may or may not be in our direction at the time, but it will definitely get put on our planning schedule. When I say around the country, I mean around the United States because we can travel around there, so. Yeah, he don't have a passport. <laughs> 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 it's okay. <laughs> Alright guys, till next time. Alright. Van life and beyond. <laughs> Take 24 action. Action. <laughs> Why? Just why? <laughs> I'll put a Is that a canoe? Nothing's ever gonna happen today. It's, it's okay. Ready? You have a broken finger. <laughs> it's cold out here. <laughs> <laughs>